All right, welcome people, Squadman here. Getting ready to shave. I've put the hot cloth, as you can see by the redness on my neck, on the face. I've soaked it, the hot face cloth. I'm just putting it on the back of my neck here for a little while. And, uh, excuse me, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You wanna get your face cloth as hot as you can and just as quickly as you can. Cover your face, uh, hold it for 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. You might have to reheat the face cloth a few times. Get those cores open, whatever that means. I got my Wilkinson sword thing here. I'm in a bit of a hurry tonight because uh, I was offered some free tickets to a Bob Dylan tribute concert at the Arts and Culture Center here in town. And, uh, whoops, I uh, don't have much time to get ready. So, look at that, this is almost empty. Put some of this here stuff, shaving cream in the old thing. And um, yeah, I'm playing Beat the Clock now to uh, get out the door. You know, very nice. My uh, neighbor works at the Arts and Culture Center. She had a couple of extra tickets, a couple of comps. Didn't have any use for them, so uh, she offered them to me. So I asked if uh, it was possible for my 16 year old daughter to go seeing that there will be a bar service and apparently she is able to go. So uh, yeah, be a nice little, oh my God, it looks like a seagull gummy. Having flashbacks from when I was a kid and a seagull blessed me in a certain manner that I found quite distressing. Um, anyway, long story long, long story short, Long story in a pot, nine days old. Um, I'm fighting the clock now to get out the door, get ready. I got some food down there, an omelet. I'm going to quickly shave and then uh, engulf the omelet, get some nutrients down, down range, so to speak, and then out the door and uh, find some parking, go to the box office, name drop, say la di da, you got a two tickets for yours truly and guest. And um, yeah, so a guy from work was talking about this a couple of days ago. I was wondering if he's going. So I texted him, didn't answer, called him, no answer. He's probably sleeping, you know, night shift workers and whatnot. He's probably sleeping, trying to, you know, get his energies up. That's one of my worries is that I'm actually going to be too tired for all this. Anyway, the clock is ticking, so let's get the show on the road. So, very gently, very, very gently, this is just stabilizing. I'm going to keep the pressure. The blade is doing the cutting. Very little pressure with the muscles. And first round, I don't care. Very, very gentle. Just wipe, wipe, wipe. Wipe away your sins, wipe away your, just wipe it all off, you know, nice and easy. This is the Thanksgiving weekend, so I got a three day weekend, I enjoy that. Happy Thanksgiving to all you people out there. You want the bird, go out in the alley and eat the bird. Anyway, those of you who get that reference down below, you can let me know where that comes from. I'll give you a hint. Polly. Is that it? Polly want a cracker? No, different Polly. 
One of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite movies. Very important movie in my family. Just back of the neck. I don't see what I'm doing. Don't even know. Just going strictly like Luke. Use the force, Luke, you know. Use the force. Just wipe this blade. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm assuming I'm getting all those little baby-like hairs, extending the life of my haircut. Although I do need to uh, actually clean up my haircut a bit. And that's round one. Let's go for round two. Just whipping some air into this mixture. And smear this stuff. This is what I call a personal smear campaign. Smear it around. Mm -hmm. Lather and slather while I blather. Oh my God. Messy. This is why you always want to Shave, no shirt on. Those of you who like to get dressed up, put a tuxedo on, or you know, some sort of expensive shirt, I recommend you don't do that. All right, second round, little more. Ooh, sounds like I'm applying a lot of pressure, I'm not. Keep the blade clean. Ooh, I like the sound of that. The blade is doing the cutting. ASMR, whatever that means. Sounds nice. Slice and dice. Some of you may have noticed that my beard does not really grow on my neck. Well, I actually plucked out all the hairs from here down with a pair of tweezers. And a lot of you might think that's crazy. I, uh, I remember the King and I, Yule Brenner's movie, they were plucking out his beard with a set of tweezers. I noticed that when I was a kid. And then uh, years later, I had a girlfriend when I lived in Korea. She used to pluck out all her underarm hair, which I thought was odd. When I was in high school, there was a device called an epilady, which was basically just two sets of gears that raked and twisted and uh, plucked hairs out. I had my girlfriend at the time bought one of those. She used it for about five seconds and it ended up in a drawer, never to be seen again because of the pain but whatever a lot of people think i shave my chest i'm just naturally hairless probably some of my native american um dna not sure what percentage native i am but uh, anyway i'm a pretty hairless guy and people often notice i don't have hair under my arms either that's when i was throwing a lot of punches in boxing, the hairs under my arms would just twist and twist and twist and turn into like dreadlocks and they get tighter and tighter and tighter and it's more and more painful and I just yank them out and uh, after years of boxing and millions of punches, and I do mean millions of punches because I used to uh, throw 1500 punches every time. I would box and still do, but I used to box every day and I've done that for many years and uh, you do the math. I've thrown about 7 million punches, which is crazy when you think about it. Probably why my shoulders don't really work all that well anymore. I'd like to get some stem cells injected in there, but I don't think that's possible. Certainly not in my price range after losing my fortune, but uh, Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to do a third round. I'm going to go against the grain. Then I'm going to clean up, go down, 
eat that omelet, put on a nice outfit, collared shirt, pair of pants that are not jeans, nice dress shoes, and go listen to uh, the Bob Dylan tribute band. All right, against the grain, very gently. I'm making the skin tight, taut, like a drum. I was hoping to do a boxing uh, workout today, actually, but um, ran out of time, sadly. Well, these tickets kind of fell in my lap unexpectedly and threw a monkey wrench into my plans. Now, a monkey wrench, for those of you who don't know, is a precursor to a pipe wrench. It's a pipe wrench. The hook is fixed and the jaw goes up and down. The monkey wrench is the opposite. The bottom of the jaw is fixed and the top goes down. And monkey wrench was from the days of the carts, carters, cart drivers. Because back then there were no standardized bolts and blacksmiths made their own bolts. And since none of them were standard and people had fixed cart wheels, um, they would have to monkey around to find the right diameter. And that's where the name monkey wrench came from. And later on, when they standardized these wrenches and they changed the design, realized it was much stronger to have the top jaw fixed. Uh, that's where the pipe wrench came from. So a little bit of useless trivia there for those of you who like factoids. Um, I think I'm done, people. I think I'm done. Let's do the... I'm going to wet my face with water. And now I'm going to do the wipe routine. I'm just going to wipe with the hand. Feel for stubble. My fingertips, like a safe cracker, feeling, stubble, tighten it up, pull the skin up over the old jawbone. Oh yeah, and uh, after plucking out all those neck hairs, once in a while I get a stray, but by and large, they don't grow back. So I'll get a stray, I'll pluck it out, and I'm good to go. But yeah, a guy at work said, oh, you shaved your neck from here down. I, I never, I might have told him now I actually plucked that out, but you got to be careful telling people that. They think you're crazy, doing crazy things, but... I prefer it. I mean, it was always so uncomfortable for me to have hair down from here down. And it's just like, oh, I got to shave, got to shave. Now I can grow my hair out a lot longer. I don't notice it. Don't have to shave as often. Feels more comfortable longer. And now I shave when my mustache hairs dig into my lip. I either clip them with the little scissors or I, uh, you know, shave, shave. Now I had a little spray container of alcohol that I like to spray on this razor to extend the life. The alcohol is hydrophobic. It drives the water off the blade, gets between the water and the blade and it evaporates quicker and uh, Keeps your blade from rusting and you get a lot more life in your blade. Anyway, this video is getting long. I'm going to rinse off and we'll see how I did. Let's uh, do the test. I'm going to, excuse me while I do the bird bath routine. Oh my.
I gotta get on the road. Okay, let's uh, have a look. Ugh, my ear is full. My ear, she is full of, uh, ugh, my stomach, look at that. Uh, not good. All right, look at these huge pectoral muscles. That's from Ren and Stimpy, those of you who remember that cartoon. Ren gets a wish from the genie or something. And he wishes for huge pectoral muscles. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. <sighs> Ooh, feels good, looks good. I give that a solid nine out of 10. And lo and behold, I look nine years younger. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Thanks for, you know, blah, blah, blah. Listen to my blathering, lathering, slathering, and all that other stuff, and uh, maybe if I remember, I'll tell you about the concert next time. See you next week, and uh, who loves your baby? This guy, don't forget it, and goodbye.